Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So, we need to find a alien outpost today, and I was thinking, depending on how much we've explored this system, we don't, haven't explored everything yet. Um, there's still some planets that we can explore, depending on what we there is, we might be able to check a couple of those out. Um, actually, before we do that, uh, our multi-tool might be able to get a scanning one to get a little bit more money as well um, I'm not sure if one of these systems that we have allows us to purchase a class s1 but we'll see if we can't find that quickly so multi-tool they have a class s1 that would be really good No, this system doesn't have a class S one. Okay, we'll have to keep our eye open for that. We might be able to go to a different system. I think we've explored like three systems so far. So, might be able to go to one of the other ones and check those out. See if they have one of those class S ones. But, um, if we can get our hands on one of those, then we'll get a little bit more money. Um, even more if we have a supercharged slot, which we don't have on our multi-tool at the moment. But we can always swap them out for another one. So let's quickly just go to see if we can't find one of those. Uh, we have the other two systems, uh, Lula and I think this one is discovered by someone else. We'll start with that one. Then we'll come back to the station and um, we'll see if we can't continue that uh, quest line. Because this will help with uh, progression a little bit more. Um, I found that if you have a class S um, scanner module, just one of them, it's going to help like get you a lot of money. So we can just pop up here and we'll go over here. Check this guy out. Scanner class S, so we can afford that actually. Uh, did they have anything else? Just class S. All right. So we'll be able to put that next to our scanner, and we'll get a little bit more uh, money from that. So it lights up when it's actually um, boosted. So we're gonna get more money for flora and minerals. So plants and rocks. Uh, we don't actually have fauna, which is unfortunate with that one, but, um... Thank you. 
Alright, so... I just took out a uh, pirate ship. Um, starship. Uh, he was just flying by. I'm just like, yeah. I was actually playing uh, yesterday on my other save. And... There's actually a lot of pirates happening right now. Um, yeah, and I, I found some information about... Um, basically taking these things on a little bit easier. Okay, so we'll mark that guy. If we change to this one, we can lower their shields. And then we can take them out like one hit with our rockets. Just like that. <laughs> we got some uh, suspicious packets too, so we got some tech from that. Alright, so I wanted to, uh, the next thing that we need to do is find a knowledge stone. Um, those are a little bit harder to find on this particular planet because they're um, the rocks and stuff that look very similar on this planet to knowledge stones so I was just trying to fly around when I saw that <laughs> another pirate I'm not sure where he is actually see like right in front of us I don't know where he is let's just um go ahead and oh that might be a knowledge stone right there no, that's something else. Oh, no, there is a knowledge stone there, though. We'll, um, land here. We'll get that knowledge stone. It's the last thing that we need, actually, so. Let's scan that as well while we're here. Alright. See what we need to do next. Locate, visit the life form located on your star chart. This is one nasty planet. Um, extreme temperatures, uh, there's pirates and a whole bunch of other stuff. But um, yeah, I found this minor settlement. We'll go inside because it's really cold outside. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop down here, just see what we could come up, come and see, unlock the uh, planet, even though it <laughs> might not be that easy to scan stuff. 
try to get some of these minerals. There's an entity there. Scan some of these things already, I think. Yeah, so it's basically a really cold planet. Like, there's, uh, you can get frost crystals and stuff on this particular planet as well. So, um, I just defended this base actually from a pirate attack. Uh, I'm not sure if we have anything we can sell here. Don't really want to part with too much. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just sell that. Uh, it should be fine for the rest. Um, I think they sell pyrite grease here. The only problem is I don't know if we have a place for manufacturing yet. Uh, we might have somewhere we can sell that. Let's check our discoveries, go back. This is scientific. Material fusion. I think this is. Yeah, we don't have a uh, place to sell pyrite grease yet, I don't think. But, um. I'm trying to find a better multi tool, too. Something like a assault rifle, like this, but. We simply don't have the amount of money needed at the moment to purchase something at this scale. This is like 3 million. We only have like 1 million. Well, just under two, th two million, but but something like a class A would be really be nice, or preferably a class S, but those are even more rare. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty cold planet. Um, not somewhere here I would want to live, that's for sure. Uh, we did get a couple extra things here. And we can sell some of those at the station. Probably should do that soon, though. Alright guys, so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. We got some of the mission stuff and I explored a little bit of that icy world. Uh, not a whole bunch of it, but um, we did get it on our records and we were able to rename it. So that was good. We only discovered like 
let's see, five, six things, but, you know, it's really cold out there, so I'm surprised we were able to get anything at all. Um, I also unlocked some stuff at the Space Anomaly. Uh, I had to go there for unlocking some base parts. I decided to unlock some uh, things that we'll need. We need to start doing some of those base um, computer uh, missions because we do get a lot of unlocks uh, from the um, base parts uh, catalog uh, if we do do those. So things like landing pad, a lot of those things that are really expensive we get for free if we do that. So um, we should probably start doing that a little bit more, maybe next episode. And other than that, I unlocked a launch auto charger, which basically allows it to generate uh, fuel over time when the ship is not being used. So if it's not in flight, it will basically generate a little bit of fuel. You might be noticing that that percent is going up just a little bit, not a whole lot. There's just updated not too, too long ago. There it is. It's at 48 now. It was at 47. So um, yeah, it will help with um, not requiring as much fuel at least. Um, obviously the longer it sits there, the more fuel that it will accumulate, but if it's in flight or being used, it doesn't accumulate fuel, which is still going to require a little bit of fuel and stuff like that over time, but I think it's a lot better solution than um, basically just having it. So, outside of that, I think next episode we'll go back to our base and we'll see what we can uh, place some of these structures that we have. Um, we have a couple things that we picked up on our journeys, so we can decorate our base with that. And we'll see if we can't uh, slowly work towards um, maybe base building a little bit more and doing the base quests and stuff. Hopefully get a landing pad so we don't have to fly in there every time. But, you know, small steps with that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.